Astronomers have been mapping the cosmos for centuries, with ever-increasing accuracy due to the advancements in technology. So it is hard to believe that anything could be hiding in the thoroughly investigated region of the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor. If you've ever looked up at a clear night sky, it's likely that you have unknowingly gazed upon its heavenly body of approximately one trillion stars, given that Andromeda is close enough to be seen with the naked eye. So when amateur astronomers, armed with a backyard telescope, discovered Andromeda hiding a structure almost as big as the galaxy itself, experts frantically set out to validate the claim, and if true, explain how they've missed it all this time, and more importantly, what the structure is. Uncover more secrets of the universe by clicking like, subscribe, and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss what we find next. This is Over Orbit Plus. Andromeda, a barred spiral galaxy with a diameter of approximately 46.56 kiloparsecs, or almost 152 light years, is only 2.5 million light years from Earth. To the human brain, this may seem like an unfathomable distance, but on a universal scale, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies are practically touching. In all actuality, the halos which extend beyond the main visible galactic components may already be merging. Andromeda is moving at 110 kilometers per second, and in time, roughly 5 billion years, our two galaxies will collide. But given the proximity of Andromeda to us, and the vast surveillance of it by both professional and amateur astronomers alike, one would think that there were no secrets left to uncover in the massive nebula. However, when amateur astronomers and researchers Xavier Strautner, Marcel Dreschler, and Jan Sainty pointed an inexpensive but high-quality telescope into the night sky, scanning for faint nebulae, they uncovered a secret hidden from the largest telescopes on and beyond Earth. The team found an extended structure next to Andromeda resembling a giant gas cloud nearly the same size as the galaxy itself. But how is it possible that they so recently found something never before seen by professionals worldwide with such a massive structure near a galaxy so heavily studied? And moreover, what is the structure? Despite having access to lower grade technology than the pros of the industry, this team used a filter that blocks all light except for a blue-green glow emitted from doubly ionized oxygen particles. They then took long exposure images of parts of the Andromeda galaxy which allows faint objects to be more readily visible. The exposure time of over 100 hours seemed like it was overkill right up until it wasn't. So why didn't larger, more technologically advanced telescopes pick up on the faint structure? It's because these particles are not detected by traditional multi-wavelength image surveys such as ROSAT in X-rays, GALAX in ultraviolet, Planck in IRAs in infrared, and SDSS in optical used by more advanced equipment. Also, it is extremely rare due to constraints of use to have such a long, drawn-out exposure time of one area in the cosmos. Simply put, Larger telescopes and advanced astro-imaging technology simply aren't designed to see an object of such size and faint light signatures. When news of the discovery broke, scientists theorized that the structure was nothing more than a handful of errors or illusions due to scattered light, internal reflections in the telescope, image processing errors and anomalies, or detector amplifier glow. However, these theories were quickly rejected when large telescopes from France, California, and New Mexico all corroborated the validity of the team's findings when using the same imaging technique. They were looking at something new no one had ever seen before. Subsequently, the structure was named Strautner Dreschler Sainty Object 1, or SDSO 1, after its discoverers. So, what is this giant mysterious structure that's been evading our notice for so long? Professional astronomers admit that they don't know. Currently, all we have are four hypotheses on what this object could possibly be. And with each new idea, proof arises to dispute it. Because SDS-01 is so close to Andromeda, one theory is that it might be part of the galaxy itself. The cloud is curved away from the nucleus, so perhaps it's bulging in this direction due to gas flung off from streams of stars in the system, making it part of the halo. While that's highly debatable, if it does originate from Andromeda, 
it's likely to be tens of thousands of light years long, making it one of the most massive structures in the galaxy. But there's one rather significant problem with this theory. If it was a gas cloud flung away from the stars, there would be a large concentration of hydrogen within it. And at present, no hydrogen has been detected. Looking again at its location, SDS-01 lies between our galaxy and Andromeda. While our imminent collision is a long way off, it's possible, as stated earlier, that the halos have already begun to interact. In this case, the structure could be a result of diffuse ionized gas compressing upon collision. This would explain the curved shape of SDS-01. But if the cloud is from an encounter between the two halos, it should not appear so close to Andromeda, but rather halfway between the galaxies. Also, this theory does not explain the lack of abundance of hydrogen, which would most likely be present. Then perhaps this is a nebula lying adjacent to Andromeda, inside our own Milky Way. As mid-sized stars die, they eject their outer layers as a planetary nebula. This could explain the shape and gas-like appearance of the structure. However, nebulae tend to be much brighter in appearance, and the layers cast off by the stars would be rich in hydrogen and oxygen. SDSO-1 is remarkably dim, and once again, no hydrogen is found. The exact origin of SDSO-1 remains a fascinating mystery. Its true nature can only be known once astronomers can obtain its spectral lines. This could possibly help us determine not only the element of the structure, but also the density and temperature of what it's made of. The spectra will also help us determine how fast the object is moving, and depending on the color of the wavelengths, if it's part of Andromeda or the Milky Way. While we have more questions than answers about SDS-01, we know that the same curiosity that led to the discovery of the structure will certainly guide us to the truth about this incredible uncovering. In the meantime, the scientific community is buzzing with excitement and anticipation as more information is unveiled about this colossal object. A team of amateurs has shown the world a new way to view the universe, and amateur astronomers everywhere should be emboldened to take to their backyards with their modest telescopes, where they may just be the next to uncover a new dazzling secret in the endless expanses of the universe. Join us next time as we continue to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss a thing.